Hi, Mark here. Since I made part one of balancing a bandsaw wheel, I've learned a thing or two that I want to pass along to you. When I first ran the bandsaw after balancing the upper wheel, it seemed to run vibration free. But when I let it run a little bit longer, a vibration would develop and then fade and that cycle would repeat. I decided to recheck the balance on my lower wheel. Rather than just running the lower wheel to check its balance as I had previously, I decided to check it the same way I had the upper one. I first removed the blade, then I removed the snap ring. Next, I loosened the bolt on the motor that tensions the drive belt and loosened the belt. Then, I pulled the wheel off, set aside the drive belt, and put the wheel back on the shaft. Sure enough, when I set this wheel in a position and let it go, it fell to the heavy side, and it was a very heavy side. So why did I feel no vibration at first when I ran that wheel alone? I suspect that a solid mount located so close to the base dampened the vibration. So what was that cyclical vibration all about? Well, you might think that both wheels spin at the same speed and stay in the same relative position to each other. In fact, their relative positions change gradually as the saw runs. Consequently, if both wheels are not perfectly balanced, the imbalances will at times be added to each other, increasing vibration, and at other times they will offset each other, reducing vibration. I then rebalanced the wheels by using more permanent weights. I used an epoxy glue to mount a picture hanging bracket to each rim. I fine-tuned the weights by grinding off teeth or drilling small holes. The result is an almost vibration-free bandsaw. And here are a couple of safety tips. Mix the epoxy well and make sure you let it cure for 24 hours even if the directions say it will bond in a few minutes. Also, as I've done here, mount the weights so that the centrifugal force tends to press them against the rim rather than throw them off.